Welcome back. The Legal State Waste Management Authority, LOMA, is set to increase charges for waste collection by 50% from the 1st of October. LOMA's Managing Director, Ibrahim Odumboni, disclosed this during a media party on the January uh, till date. Plus TV News correspondent, Love Ikugoyedoku, has more in this report. According to the National Population Commission's report of 2016, Lagos is a city with a population of over 2 million people. Handling or managing waste of such a population is sure not a tea party. According to statistics presented by the MD of Lagos State Waste Management Authority, Loma Ibrahim Odumboni, residents generate a minimum of 0 0.65 kg, averaging 13,000 metric tons, requiring not less than 650 heavy duty trucks to evacuate. The Loma boss is confident that the agency is equal to the task. Our state and Lagos State. There's an ongoing discussion around that, a bilateral discussion with the two states to ensure that a state of the art landfill that will be one of the largest in Africa will be constructed there for future management of waste. We are going to, I can assure you, definitely we are moving away from open dumping and landfilling system because we know that Lagos is surrounded by water, limited by space, and with all the other things that we are introducing to manage and make all our waste our resources is something that we feel is active that we do that. He speaks about recent challenges, solutions, as well as sustainability measures that had been put in place. Before the end of this year, additional three will start. The aim and the plan for Loma over the next five years is to ensure that every LGA has a transfer loading station so that what happened to us in the last five weeks or so, we can mitigate against it where our PSP will be able to jump in their local government area and then we as an organization, as an agency, will find a way to evacuate to the final destination at the end of the day. Odubani discloses that in the last one year, over 5,000 people have been prosecuted, jailed and some fined in Lagos for indiscriminate waste offenses. Over the last two months, we have actually seized over 1,400 cats across the state. And we continue to do that to ensure that a much more formal, agreeable, consistent system of disposal of waste is introduced to our society. Don't be not waste on the median of the road. When you see a heap of refuse on the median of the road, majority of them are done by cat pushers. He appeals to Lagos residents to patronize PSP operators instead of the illegal cart pushers who dump refuse indiscriminately on the roads. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News.